Pope's Tale, which is a tale about the change of tales. The author of Chilbul's Tale is Savitri. It was originally written in Hindi and later translated to English by Ritu Singh. The story is all about a squirrel who is not happy about its tail, so it decides to change its tail. The author clearly talks about taking pride in what we have and not being ashamed of anything. Now let's look into the story. Once there was a squirrel, a very naughty squirrel named Chilbul. She went up a tree in a blink and came down before you could wink. Sometimes she would stand on her two legs and sometimes she would chase birds. Once when Chilbu was sitting on the branch of a tree munching walnuts, her gaze fell on her tail. She pondered over her problem over a long time till she came up with an idea. Why not go and meet Dr. Bombu the bear? In the hospital, there was a cupboard where different tails, legs and ears of different animals were kept. There, she did not wait for Dr. Bombu. She looked out for the perfect tail for herself. After a while, she chose a tail of a monkey. As soon as Dr. Bombu arrived, she kept the monkey's tail on her stable. She asked, Please, Dr. Bombu, could you fix the monkey's tail for me? Dr. Bombu peered over his glasses and asked, What on earth for? What's the matter with your tail? Chilbul insisted that she wanted to change her tail. But Dr. Bumble didn't think that a monkey's tail was suitable for her. But Chilbul was stubborn and told Dr. Bumble that she wanted to change her tail. Once the tail was fixed, Chilbul jumped about in joy. Now I can sit on branches high up and my tail hanging down like monkeys. Delighted with the idea, she left the hospital. But then, what happened? The tail was quite heavy for her. She could barely walk. She could barely climb the tree too. She was totally exhausted. No way, this tail is not right. So she went back to Dr. Bombu. Thus, Staggering along to reach Dr. Bombu once more. Dr. Bombu scolded Chilbu. I told you so, he said. She was sorry and asked to fix a cat's tail on her instead. Dr. Bombu removed the heavy tail and fixed the cat's tail in its place. Well, at least the cat's tail is lighter than the earlier one, thought Chilbu. She was really tired of the change of tail. So she rested behind a tree. Suddenly, a loud noise woke her up. That dog thinks I'm a cat. He is coming for me, she yelled and ran for her life. The dog came after her as she raised her head. She realized she could not run with that tail and her own tail was so much lighter and she repented for it. Stumbling and falling, she managed to reach Dr. Bamu's hospital again. Help, Dr. Bamu, help! cried Chilbul and ran inside. The dog stood outside barking. Whoa, whoa! What is it now? asked Dr. Bamu. Chilbul explained to the doctor that that horrible dog is after me. Just give me back my tail, just mine! Chilbul said, shaking her head. Sternly, Dr. Bombu smiled and said, Now you are back to your senses. He cheerfully removed the cat's tail and fixed the naughty squirrel's tail back. Chilbul got a great relief. And without a care in the world, Chilbul walked home happily with a song on her lips. My tail is the best, so furry and light. I can scamper all day. And dance through the night. Here we come to the end of the story. The best thing I liked about in the story is the ending where children realize that her tale is the best. Even the author very clearly talks.
talked about it. We should always be proud of what we have and not be ashamed of anything. We all are a beautiful creation of God and each individual is unique and be proud of it. Thank you.